it's Betsy from Cutting Corners Vinyl in Nederland, Texas, and today is Craftsmas Season 3, Episode 51. So, we got a fun one for you. Now, I purchased this sign from Michael's whenever it was 75% off. This was from their ha Halloween stuff, and it was originally $16.99. I think it was 75% off, but I typically like to do this, but you could buy any wooden sign hobby lobby has them all the time and either stain it or paint it black to get the same effect so that part is kind of up to you you don't have to buy the same one that i did it's just i got it for super cheap i'm trying to pull the string off the back because we're doing it vertical and not horizontal Ugh. and it's stapled on here so we're just gonna there we go, trim the rest of it off. So this would make a cute housewarming gift or it would also make a good wedding present. It would also make just a cute holiday gift. So you're gonna need your sign board. You're gonna need your vinyl, which I am using the rainbow opaque white. I don't know why they call it rainbow. This is a glitter because if you look at it, it is a pure white glitter. Now it probably doesn't look very glittery here because it has the plastic over it. But once it's cut and weeded, you'll see that it actually has some sparkle to it. But I like that it's kind of plain. You're also gonna need your file, which is available on my Patreon page for my $4 or more a month patrons. Now, since we are monogramming it or putting a letter in the center, the font that we used is Weather Sunday. So you can download that or choose your own. Um, other than that, you're gonna need your mini heat press or a home iron something that will be able to get into this because as you can see, this one has like ridges. But if you'll give me a moment to change the camera angle, we'll go over how to make this. Doki. So as you can see, I have my design laid out in my sign board. Now I'm gonna flip this over and you can see that I have the hooks towards the top of the design. So we're gonna go ahead and heat this on. So kind of making sure how everything fits. Okay. Gotta make sure. And where this comes in handy for the most part is whenever the most difficult part of this is making sure you have it trimmed close enough so it's easier to lay down the sign in here. Okay. Sorry about the train. There's really not much I can do about it. So if you can hear it well, again, I'm sorry. I'm sure you can hear it well because I hear it extremely well. Okay, so again, as you can see, that was just me going back in trim, trim, trimming. Okay. Now we're gonna make sure everything is laid in place. That looks really good to me. So I have my Cricut mini press preheated to the second setting. And what I'm doing is just ironing over everything so kind of pressing and holding and we're gonna start with one section and then we're gonna just kind of work our way around so as you can see the part that I struggled with most is cutting the clear plastic so we kind of double check to make sure everything's sticking. It's really kind of easy. And just kind of press in each area. And make sure it's down good. Okay, you see that little edge needs to be reheated 
And you see, that's kind of what, how I have found it to be the easiest to do is check it as we're working our way across. Okay. I have found that that makes it the easiest to make sure everything is down good. And you just kind of go slow. Okay. And now the printer is cleaning itself. If it's not one thing, it's another when I'm trying to film. I swear to goodness. And I prefer a lot of times putting HTV on wood to regular vinyl because I feel like it's much easier to work with and you can get some really cool looks with it. Like I feel like there's a lot more options in HTV than there is in adhesive. Okay, let's check and see. Oh, right there. See how easy that is just to kind of go back and double check what you're doing and look how good that looks. Now, we're gonna go off camera and then we'll come back and show you the completed project. Okay. Look how absolutely adorable this came out. Isn't this just precious? I love putting HTV on wood. Now there is some excess glitter. If you don't want that, then I wouldn't choose a glitter HTV, but I am super happy with how this came out. So if you like this video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button right down below. And if you hit the notification bell icon next to it, that will notify you when I post new videos, which for Craftsmas is every single weekday, Monday through Friday. But I guess that's it, so we'll see y'all later. Bye.